Hey friends, how's it going? Indulger here back with some more Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, I haven't had anything really to discuss, an AR, and we finally got uh, something a little bit different. And this is called a fishing team. So today's episode is going to go over how to beat a fishing team. So generally speaking, when you see a construct like this, your immediate reaction is probably like, Oh, free win. Yeah, it's free win, but they're trying to be uh, cute here and force you to surrender mainly and if you don't surrender then they're going to try to rematch you that's that's the whole gist that this is the part of the cooldown phase of the week where they don't really care if they lose then they get in the free rematch or they ruin your day generally speaking this is kind of a douche move and you should never do this because douches do this are you a douche i don't know let me know in the comments below that's a little too harsh i i just would never do something like this like why so let's talk about how we can break it. And guard is the main component. We've got to stop this. So this is a, a Tiburn with time, time Bomb? Yeah, Time Bomb, sure. Dive Bomb. So he's going to get a follow-up attack. Uh, we've got speed here. And I, I've gone with Claude for one reason. Because I stop any follow-up attacks. Neutralizes follow-up attacks. He's got Gale Force as well. And a Heavy Blade. So that's going to come into play a little bit. Uh, am I gonna out attack you? 55. No, you won't. <laughs> you will lose both checks. You're gonna lose the speed check for the follow up, and you're gonna lose the attack check for the heavy blade, right? This is a simple calculation. It's attack. Uh, love. So, uh, this is a team I re rarely use. It's a Rally Layla team on Astra. And guess what we've got over here? Ruse, guard, guard, no follow up. So, the, the intention is. I have to imagine that's the trap to avoid the tactics room. The tactics room is here for one reason only, to slow you down to get these pots. Catapults, eh, not great, but, you know, we're going to see if we can uh, traverse our way through here. This isn't a bad, this isn't a bad one to get, right? I can get that, I can get up here and eventually get that. From there, it's a little tricky. Uh, I'm going to have to keep this alive, I think, actually, so I can break this and come onto the side and not have your gale force active. Now, Tiburn is going to attack on this position. So I'm a little nervous. I'm going to have to somehow slip screen in here. Probably a Reagan. A Reagan would puncture this and then come on down there. And even if Tiburn's here, it's okay. We are losing again our, our healing tower with the catapult. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, I think I found my answer. I'm gonna knock that flying school out. Yeah. Repo the Claude here. I'm assuming that's the trap. If it's not the trap, um, is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't think I actually want to attack this Bright Shrine if I can, because I'm gonna have to use Reagan's Kanto to actually hit that and then go there. Uh, Tiburton is gonna prioritize the defense panel. So again, if we can just get Claude here, do nothing. We'll, we'll get a ruse off, a guard, and then we have to make sure we can ruse again. So that's gonna be a challenge. If this is the trap, Let's go. ooh, most likely Claude is in danger of being actually panicked. So that's okay. We don't actually have to ruse. Uh, Layla can actually ruse in the back line, so it's not terrible. Now we just, we just need this Tiburn to not blow us up. There is a, a solo here. He's getting additional speed and attack, so that will put him at... Mm, mm. Oh, maybe maybe I will lose this check. Look at this. So he does get a, he does get a plus 10 in his weapon and at 12, so that's going to put him at 67, 73. I don't know. I actually think I might lose the attack check. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. So let's let's give it a shot, though. Um, and then we're going to we're going to dance the rag in here. And try to put her up there. Careful, careful. Right. There's the ruse. There's the move. I want to end turn here, and then we'll go up one space. Because Regan needs to be where Claude is. She'll attack this, hide here, and then... Uh, I'm hoping we'll have enough... <laughs> I hope we'll be able to get the ether. So let's make this play and hope it's... I don't know what we want to hope. What do we want to hope? I don't have a smite user here. So again, I can't really attack that, nor do I want to attack that. Or do I? I don't know. Again, he should come here. So what does that do for us? Let me think about this one more second. 
Oh, one thing to know, I, because I got this stack speed buff, I don't think Layla's gonna be the one that actually gets the soak. It's a hundred and, what is that, 115? Yeah, uh, my math. Is that 115? I, I can't do simple math right now. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I could go for the Bright Shrine. Hmm. All right. Well, worst case scenario, I don't think Gale Force is getting off. I just don't want him to get... He has got to hit me four times to get the, to go. Somehow I have to have Fjorm sort of help and get away from him. It's going to be it's gonna be an interesting play. Let's, let's make the play. Let's go. It was a trap, like I suspected. Oh, one of the things that did, though, is it stopped him from moving. Huh. You know, I wish Reagan could do something else. Could we have done something else? I guess I could have put her there. Well, damn, if I would have known that. If I would have known that was the trap, which I guess I should have known, I could have put her there. And then, worst case scenario, Repo, and even if it wasn't the trap... Well, damn it! <laughs> well, I just made a mistake. I, I should have assumed that, and then I could have snuck Regan in there, uh, as is. But, okay. Okay. So, I mean, let's instead just sort of sneak on in there. I took that hit. I took that hit like a champ. And he didn't move, though. Oh, that's not a bad idea. He didn't take the defense panel. Oh, they're actually pretty tricky. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. So now, uh, now I might be boned here. Because I somehow have to get... What's this? I just took a lot of damage. That's 35 damage on the Claude. I mean, the game's over. I might just have to take this. Because I'm not sure I can do it now. I somehow have to get... Fjorm here, and she's stuck by the tactics room. Ah, it's the tactics room really hurt me there. I got outplayed here, guys. Maybe if Claude goes over here, go. that's sufficient. But again, I can't do that because Regan. Hmm. <laughs> I, I think I've been beat. Let me see if I got a way out of this. <laughs> Guys, I think I actually have it. And it's actually because Dipper did so much damage to me, it opened up Wings of Mercy. So let's let's see if it works. Yeah. Reagan. Sure thing. Claude. Oh, I'll do it. It will be done. And now I've got the kill, and that's how you do it, guys. Not quite how I planned it. Oh, that was actually really damn close. That was just a 2 HP overkill. But uh, I'll take that fishing team and say, nah. -uh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes. Have a good day. Bye, guys.